What's up guys, YGO Strats coming at you with the new Cosmo support. This is obviously the big news for me and the big news for a lot of people. Cosmo is the most safe uh, meta deck to be investing in right now since everything else, you know, Necrod, Shadow, Teller, Burning Abyss, Cleaboard, they've all been around for pretty much a year now. They're bound to be slaughtered by the ban list in some way, if not just straight up outclassed after minor tips and taps and hits and all that stuff from the ban list and then obviously the new support of them em empire um the new monarchs and the new pendulum magicians and magic specters that can't be targeted or destroyed by card effect it's gonna be so stupid i can't wait but in the meantime we've got two of our new cosmo support cards coming from dimensions of chaos the first one is cosmo wicked witch uh, the level 4 dark we saw, obviously, we didn't get the effect, so we already know the stats, 1900. Uh, during either play's turn, you can banish it and special summon a level 5 or higher Cosmo from your hand, and you can only do that once per turn. And then once per turn, during either player's turn, you can pay 1000 life points, and she's unable to be destroyed by battle or card effect. So, if you, um, you know, if they play Dark Hole and you want to tag out into a ship, then the ship gets destroyed and you're kind of like, well, I'd rather have the ship to do something else. Then you can just use her effect, pay a thousand, she's safe, and then later tag out into something else. So, that's fantastic in that sense. Uh, it's level 4, it's dark, obviously opens up Chaos and Rank 4 stuff, but the new big thing, Cosmo Dark Destroyer. Um, the unfortunate thing here is, it looks like it's going to be secret. Based on the text, it's that weird, not quite silver, silver print thing. So it's probably going to be a secret rare, which sucks. It's Cosmo Dark Destroyer, level 8 Dark Machine. So we have a Dark Machine now. 3,000 attack, 1,800 defense. Uh, when it's normal or special summon, target one monster on the field and destroy it. So I think I said that would be the effect of the level 6. That was my guess. So I was wrong, but we did get monster destruction. Obviously, that wasn't a uh, big surprise. Cannot be targeted by an opponent's card effects either, so this and Forerunner are stupid like that. And then if it's destroyed by battle or card effect and sent to the graveyard, banish it from your graveyard and special summon a level 7 or lower Cosmo from your deck. Now, this guy opens up so many combos because you can, you know, poke with uh, Wicked Witch for 19, go into Dark Destroy, destroy itself, summon Farm Girl from the deck, poke for another 15, Farm Girl out into Good Witch. Good Witch for 18, and then Good Witch into Forerunner for like another 28. Like there's obviously that requires setup and having things in your hand, but generally it's not that hard to do in Cosmo, and it does open up some ridiculous plays. Plus having a level 8 with 3,000 attack and the ability to destroy some anything on the field, any monster, it's gonna be stupid. Um, untargetable is even stupider. 3K, I just it's gonna be insane. Uh, definitely going to be a minimum of two of them. I'm thinking of running two and two of the ships after this, but we'll see where it goes. But that is our new revealed Cosmo support. Uh, we do not know the effect of the Eclipse spell yet. I'm hoping we get a trap. I think that the deck's great, but it's not going to be able to compete unless it gets its own little fire lake of sorts where it's kind of a busted spell or trap or monster or something just to be able to stand up against Pendulum because Pendulum, Cosmo recovers resources great, but Pendulum just doesn't need to recover resources. So, uh, for the most part, the monsters don't. But this is our new Cosmo support. Obviously, super psyched. Uh, can't wait to try it out and update my build. Uh, probably going to wait until we get all the Cosmo support before I go ahead and do that. But there it is, the new Cosmo support. Let me know what you guys think if you're hyped for it. And obviously, the dark does open up chaos, if that wasn't obvious. I don't know if I've said that yet. But the chaos and arguably a lure of darkness as well. So, things to think about. Uh, go ahead, leave a comment, like, comment, subscribe, tell us what you think, and we'll see you next time on YGO Strats.